हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन अबाउट लैंग्वेज ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन क्लास एट आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज एनर्जी चेंज इन ए केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू एनर्जी चेंज इन ए केमिकल रिएक्शन बट बिफोर दैट सम बेसिक थिंग्स what are reactants first basic things reactants second one products third a chemical reaction first reactants the original substances at the start of a chemical change or chemical reaction are called reactants products and the new substances formed as a result of chemical change or chemical reaction are called products reaction when reactant molecules undergo a chemical change with the release of energy or with the absorption of energy leading to the formation of new substances with new properties is called a chemical reaction some more basic thing. chemical reaction is a chemical process which involves the rearrangement of atoms among the reactant molecules to form the product molecules to form the product molecules that is new substances with new properties now let us see the main topic energy change in the chemical reaction energy change in the chemical reaction in a chemical reaction what happens that first i have to tell you bond is there the force of attraction between atoms in the molecule or between oppositely charged ions in the ionic compounds like nacl kcl etc is called a chemical bond in a chemical reaction the old existing bonds in the reactant molecule break and there is formation of new chemical bonds in the product molecules next point remember very important we must supply energy to break a chemical bond and next one energy is released when a chemical bond is formed but here the release of energy due to formation of chemical bond is generally not equal to the energy required to break the chemical bond in reactant molecules hence energy is either released or absorbed in a chemical reaction this change of energy released or absorbed is represented by del h del h if energy is released then del h is negative and if energy is absorbed then del h is represented by positive sign next point the energy is released in a chemical reaction if the energy released due to formation of a chemical bond is greater than the energy required to break a chemical bond in the reactant molecules next point the energy is absorbed if the energy required for breaking the chemical bond in reactant molecule is greater than the energy released 
due to formation of chemical bond in the product molecule. Now, this is about energy change in chemical reaction. Next, thermochemical equation. Thermochemical equation. Or thermochemical reaction. Thermochemical re reactions are very important and remember the reaction which proceeds with the evolution of heat energy or with the absorption of heat energy are called thermochemical reactions. Understood? With the release of heat energy or with the absorption of heat energy, then only it is a thermochemical reaction. Now, some type of thermochemical reaction like first exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction. Here NH is negative. Exothermic reaction. A chemical reaction which proceeds with the release of heat energy is called exothermic reaction. Heat energy is released means heat is given to the surrounding exothermic. Example C plus O2 gives CO2 plus heat. CH4 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O plus heat. Heat is released. Next, nitrogen react with hydrogen to form ammonia gas. Heat is released. Heat is released. Next, like that, many reactions are there. Endothermic reactions. Endothermic reaction. Endothermic reaction. Del H is positive. A chemical reaction which proceed with the absorption of heat energy is called endothermic reaction. Means the reaction which takes place with absorption of heat energy by taking heat from the surrounding is called endothermic reaction. Some examples let us see. First, nitrogen combined with oxygen to form nitric oxide. Here heat is minus heat means heat is absorbed, heat is required. This reaction requires very high temperature then only it takes place in water. Endothermic reaction is this. CaCO3 gives CaO plus CO2. High temperature is needed, remember. Then like this there are reactions which are endothermic. Next type of reaction, photochemical reaction. Photochemical reaction. Photochemical reaction. A chemical reaction which proceeds with the absorption of light energy is called photochemical reaction. For example, photosynthesis and you can write this way CO2 combined with H2O in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll found in the Green plants gives C6 H12O6 plus O2. You can balance the equation. Then here proceed with the light, with the absorption of light energy in presence of chlorophyll found in the green plants. Next, hydrogen combined with chlorine 
to form hydrogen chloride. This is also in presence of diffused sunlight. Diffused sunlight. Diffused sunlight. Next, here oxygen forms ozone. In presence of ultraviolet radiation. Next example you see iodine in presence of light breaks to form iodine atoms. Silver bromide in presence of light forms silver and bromine. This is used in photography. Silver nitrate AgNO3 in presence of light forms Ag plus NO2 plus O2. Plus o. Like that, there are several reactions which proceed with the absorption of light energy. Electrochemical reaction. Electrochemical reaction. A chemical reaction which proceed with the absorption of electric energy. A chemical reaction which proceed with the absorption of electric energy is called electrochemical reaction. For example, acidified water on passing electric current, direct electric current, undergoes decomposition to form hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen at cathode. Hydrogen at cathode and oxygen at anode. Like that, sodium chloride in molten state on passing direct electric current forms sodium and chlorine. Sodium is produced at cathode and chlorine at anode. Like this means the reaction which proceeds with the absorption of electric energy means which take place on passing electric current or electrochemical reaction. Such reactions are called electrolysis reaction and here water breaks into hydrogen and oxygen, NaCl breaks into Na and 2NaCl breaks into 2Na plus Cl2, sodium is produced at cathode and chlorine is produced at anode. These are some examples of reaction which require energy, then only pursued. Energy they require in the form of light. See here, they require energy in the form of heat. Release energy, absorb energy, absorb light, absorb electric energy. These are the reactions which show energy change. Now, today's topic is this. Now, next day I will tell you very interesting thing, various type of reactions and with reason. Now, thank you very much and see for the next class.